Who do you want to be? You want to be Mickey? Nah. You want to be Donald Duck or Goofy? <laughs> Who do you want to be? I'm Bugs Bunny, nigga. You're Bugs Bunny. See, you a whole different, you a whole different cartoon. He says, you know what? I'm a loony too. <laughs> you Bugs Bunny. I'm a loony too. I'm loony. <laughs> All right. Oh. Gas, gas on the hundred. Yeah, we Sorry. about to go right back in. <laughs> fresh off the third. The third hell, nigga. We fresh off the third. Yeah. We're going into the fourth quarter, nigga. Shit, <laughs> Thirsty, nigga. I might need something to drink. <laughs> you know? Yo, this the Gemini. Chilling with Thrasher. <laughs> oh, shit. It's boy high. Boy high. It's showing. Nigga can't even say my name. Wow. Stone. I am floating. You already know. Uh, I'm smoking the gas, ninja. Gas. Smoking the gas with ya. Gas. Pop up and pass with ya. Raw paper ain't got no swishers. Smoking the gas, ninja. Gas. Smoking the gas with ya. Gas. Pop up and pass with ya. Raw paper ain't got no swishers. White paper classic blacks. Black. Twisted on make sure they fat. <laughs> Bring some water. Gas. Uh, yes. Got a Gatorade in the refrigerator. I'm about to sip on a Gatorade. <laughs> it's the Gemini. <laughs> Thrasher Teasy. Chilling at the cloud station, and we about to get into the Thrasher. Let's enter the oh, Thrasher. We enter the Thrasher. Yeah, we're okay. going to enter the Thrasher. Okay, all the way. Mm -hmm. so Open I, the gate. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, be serious. Off the rip. Okay, mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. So, shit, you want to go into opening the gate? Like, what is that? What is what is? So, that when we open the gate, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's time to go. We're going in. Off jump. All the way. Straight, off rip. Straight to the boat. Straight, getting straight to it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, how you been doing? Man, man like, I've been blessed, man. For real. Really been blessed. Uh, you know, just going to, uh, going through a lot of adversity last year and this year, too, and to be at where I'm at and to sit where I'm sitting right now and to be able to talk to y'all, bless. Blessings, blessings. Straight man. up. Well, I know I know the cloud got a lot to do with that. Can you tell me, like, a little bit about, like, what, what you actually, because I know you on camera, off camera sometime, but, yeah. more, but you more of, like, into the like behind the scenes and like for sure dealing like what a lot of things other than what people see or may know yeah like so can you explain like a little bit of talk yeah, a little you. bit about that like what you got so when it comes to the cloud um you know from taking pictures you know what I'm saying I used to usually like take a, most of the pictures um during the episodes and um we were on the go and doing vlogs and things like that. But uh, a couple things have kind of like transpired to the point where it's allowed me to. Um, then I started uh, camera operating uh, for the cloud and um, producing it. And basically just, you know, what I'm saying making sure everybody's timing is right, making sure everybody is um, conscious of everybody else and uh, making sure every all the cameras are running and um you know, maybe if somebody needed something to drink or, you know, just make sure that the, the show moves smoothly. You know, that's that's the kind of role that I kind of grew into, you know, because I know everyone. So and um, it's just easier, I guess, for me to, you know, talk to everybody. And everybody kind of know, like, know me. So it's easy for everybody to communicate and be on the same page, honestly. Okay. okay. Yeah. So enter the thrasher. Mm -hmm. Enter the thrasher. Enter, yes, sir. Okay, so is that something? Is it a meaning behind you saying that? Is it? A yeah, meaning? definitely. Like what, what is that like? What? What? what is, if when you say enter the thrasher, mm -hmm. what is? What are you meaning by that? All right. So when I say enter the thrasher, this is the be, uh, when you enter the thrasher is the beginning of uh, the thrasher series, and uh, it's a trilogy, and um, it's my music. You know. Essentially, um, you know, my first project was Return of the Thrasher. And honestly, it wasn't the first. 
it was my first project, but it's not the first in the lineup. So you know what I'm saying? So it was your first release. That was, that's the first you released. That's you got- my first release, but it's not the first in the series. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay. So tell me a little bit about this series. Like, what? What? How did this series start? Like, how did how did you how did you know? Like, I'm I'm Thrash or Teasy. Like this. Okay. This, like, so the series basically. You know, before I had even had the first series, I already had the whole series like mapped out <laughs> in my head. You know, so it was essentially just. Uh, uh, Why that back? <laughs> what did you say? Before you had the whole series. No, before I became out with Return of the Thrasher, mm-hmm. I already had the whole series mapped out in my head. Okay, okay. In the line, in the lineup of how I wanted to release the series, the Thrasher series. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, um, the first one was. Return of the Thrasher, and this one's going to be Into the Thrasher. And it's almost like I'm going backwards, but in reality, it's the beginning of Thrasher. You get what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So when you enter the Thrasher, this is going to be um, just more in depth of Thrasher Teasy. You know what I'm saying? How I got to the point of where I was at, you know what I'm saying, in the other uh, project, Return of the Thrasher. So my inspirations are Bruce Lee, <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Lee and uh, Lee Boys and, and, uh, and Star Bruce. Wars. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of it kind of helps me uh, get the order of things. Hold on, man. Hold on. Time out. You said Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, and Star Wars. And Star Wars. Yep. How is that? So you know, that's inter- That's an interesting com- combination. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. That was... Mm. So, it's an interesting conversation, a combination, um, <laughs> because Bruce Lee is like, you know what I'm saying, into the dragon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a dragon. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, that's what Bruce Lee is. You know what I'm saying? I'm the thrasher. I'm the destroyer. You know what I'm saying? I'm the omega. You feel me? So, it's, it's different. You know what I mean? So... Okay. It's almost like if uh, if Luke Skywalker had a kid, <laughs> I'd probably be that nigga. You feel me? Okay. Like I'm not Annie. That's okay. Grandpa. You know what I'm saying? Luke would be like is Annie's son, Anakin, Anakin Skywalker, who is Darth Vader. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Most likely, me, Thrasher, <laughs> I would be the son of Luke. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I ain't I ain't with nobody. I'm okay. doing me. <laughs> okay. You know, the force is with me. I'm just doing me. You know, okay. you rock with me or you not rock with me. What you trying to do? And so, and so, being a person that's heard some exclusives off your project, like it sounded like it's about to be lit. So, like, what can you? What can people expect off the, the difference between? This album and the last one. I would say consistency in the vibe. Consistency I'm, in the vibe? Yeah, I'm going to provide a consistent vibe. I'm going to provide a consistent vibe. You get what I'm saying? How many songs you plan on having on it? Um, Anywhere from five to eight. Honestly. I'm not, I'm, and I'm, I don't, I don't want to like take up too many, too much time. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to catch a vibe real quick. But like, oh, I right, bet. You know what I'm saying? And then compare it to the other, other uh, project. You know what I'm saying? Because I want people to compare projects when the projects are out. I want you to be able to compare them. But like, oh, I like this one in in this series or this project. You know what I'm saying? Versus this one in that series. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's a whole vibe, like it's like watching like a like an anime or like a a television series. You know what I'm saying with different seasons and shit. So it pretty much it, it all comes together mm-hmm. to be one one whole collection. But <laughs> <laughs> yo, you geek me out, dog. <laughs> one whole collection. Like a box set. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I yeah. get it. I get it. So it so then this is the second sequence of it. But it's actually the beginning sequence. Yes. 
<laughs> so that's bringing, exactly. So that's, you bringing it back on? Yes. Yes. Okay. And yes. so for the late, and I'm so bringing the, you to the. I'm giving. I'm giving you the origin <laughs> okay. of the Thrasher. Okay. We're into the Thrasher. Okay, I'm just making sure I understand. Yeah, but no, yeah. you actually got it. Yeah. It makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. Dope. That's dope. That's real dope. Yeah. I could really say like not too many people can really do it like that. It's a select few that can really do that, mm-hmm. but not too many people could release projects like that in a series. Yeah, and turns it into a full collection. So you say you got. It's three series. Three in a series, yes, sir. So, does that mean after this one drop, you got some nose tucked or what? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And that would be the last thrasher. I'm just going to give you the names now. Because it, it, it's already set in stone. So, ooh, yikes. And so, the last thrasher, mm-hmm. would that be the last of thrasher? Or oh, the series. Just- yeah. That's the last of the Thrasher series. Exactly, bro. <laughs> last okay. of the Thrasher series. Okay. Will be the last Thrasher. Are you past that right now? Are you past? No. Nope. <laughs> nah. I'm still experiencing it. You know what I'm saying? So every day when you experience something, that's how you know you automatically put it straight in to your music and it's also about like getting it getting the right uh getting the right beat to go on whatever i i might uh write you know what i'm saying because when i write a verse for the most time like i write a whole verse and it could be just be to i just need a beat honestly any verse can go to any beat the way i write so what it's, kind of beats do you prefer like um any producers that you that you working with? I know you. I know you mentioned Jappo's studio. Yeah, I've been, I've been um, you know. over Jappo's beats. Um, definitely been on uh, a lot of James LaFlame beats. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely he's part of the cloud. Shout out James LaFlame. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a lot of songs um, on Into the Thrasher um, that's produced by him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just want to give him a, like a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Because he makes really good um, instrumentals. Like yeah, it's just do. really nothing around it. It's just fire, you know. And is he has a lot of potential. He's very young, and he's very, has a lot of potential. And where where his music, uh, producing that right now, and be, or beat making, however you want to call it, um, like I can only imagine. If, you know, what I'm saying what it's gonna be like in the future. He's got to keep going, keep dishing them out. But yeah, so I got. Um, beats for him and um, shoot I don't know I mean I might use a beat that I make I don't know you know what I'm saying because I produce as well so and that's just another kicker you know what I'm saying like I'll probably have one song on there that I produce you know what I'm saying just because that's just I feel like I need to do at least one song that I produce beat wise on the project just like Return to Thrasher um, get you a hustle I made that beat you know what I mean so on this next project it's going to have to be the same thing on the next one too you know because i just like beats in general you feel me so like i'd rather just let like pick different beats because it's just different vibes you know what i'm saying i don't know sometimes the beat the beat mostly just talks to me and it's like yeah you should say this you know what i'm saying a lot of my effortless tracks the beat just talked to me you know what i'm saying and i might have wrote the verse to it you know what i'm saying or i might have had a verse that was already ready it just all depends, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely, let's just say if I go in the studio, like, I have a direction, you know what I'm saying? There's very few times I can go in the studio and have no direction and come out with a song. But the times that I do, and I'm able to do that, the song usually is pretty good, as in presentation-wise and the hook and the whole concept. So I think so. It's good that you mentioned that because... Like, some people could struggle with either writing a song, yeah. or some people struggle with performing it, mm-hmm. or some people just struggle with recording the song. True. So, that's a good thing that you have great preparation to know yourself enough to have that preparation before you go in the studio to make and, a hit. And that's what that's where right. Bruce Lee comes in the, in the picture, because Bruce Lee was always about practicing perfect preparation. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. Bruce Lee, I understand that. That might be like... You know what I mean? Nah, I just... 
Yeah. He was always about his preparation. You know what I'm saying? Like how he prepared to practice. So like the you, things he did before practice, before he practiced. Like so it's like know. Bruce Lee, like your idol. Is he one of you? I would say when I was younger, yeah, he was an idol of mine. You know what I'm saying? Before I knew what ideology was, yeah, he was definitely an idol growing up. Um, for sure. Uh, so I just was, like I love kung fu movies. You know what I'm saying? And he has some of the best kung fu movies growing up. True, yeah, all true. classics. Like you know what I'm saying? And then so you was in there trying to be Bruce Lee when you was a kid. Oh yeah. Definitely, I'm fucking shit up. Like I'm jumping off of shit. I am fucking shit up. I'm fighting, and my parents are like, oh no, we gotta put you in something. So, so that's like they they put me in taekwondo. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah. so you took taekwondo. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, but um, how does that drive into your day to day basis now? Uh, what else like you do you said the photographer the mm-hmm. music the choreographer and the the sets and stuff and the mm-hmm. timing and making sure everything's like you know put together like how, for the cloud yeah yeah like what else like how do you manage to do anything else like or do you do like so do you have time for it? oh my goodness gracious oh my gosh <laughs> this is this is getting out of hand okay out of hand. Disrespectful. <laughs> um. So when I was growing up, um, me and um my brother uh, Doobie, shout out to my brother Doobie, um Doobie the Don, El Papa Don, um, you know, airing it up. Hopefully AJ Brown. Oh my gosh, can't get it. But yeah, shout out to uh, Doobie the Don. Uh, when I was a kid, um, I, you know, say I would do all these little things like record, dance, um, skateboard, uh, martial arts. You know what I'm saying? I was just re- kind of just good at a lot of different shit, and and it actually, it was a conflict when I was like, you know, what I'm saying, graduating high school because I knew how to do so much shit, and I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to go to school for, and I went to school and just wasted fucking money. Because, you know what I'm saying, I just did not know what to do. I just knew how to do too much shit. I didn't know what what is there a degree for, for just doing a lot of different things. I don't I don't think there is one. So what did you end up doing? Not going to school. <laughs> but um, just a little bit of everything, man. For real, for real. I use a lot. I, I, I section things out, like making beats, taking pictures, making music, writing music. You know what I'm saying? Skateboarding. I just... They're all outlets for me, you know what I'm saying, to help with my anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Martial arts, too. Stretching, you know, working out so mentally. You, you can see yourself going to a Taekwondo class right now? No. No? No. Teaching one? I mean, I could. So you, do they got belts in all that? Yeah. So you was a black belt? Of course. You was a black belt? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I didn't really want to get too deep into it because you have to register your uh, your your hands and shit and feet as a weapon. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, you want to get into that? No, because you know what I'm saying. What if somebody tried to run up on me in the middle of the street, thinking you know what I'm saying? Hey, now they sleep, <laughs> thinking they was gonna be able to get up on me, but now they sleep. <laughs> now, now I'm gonna get locked up because of that shit. Yeah, for defending myself. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't, he ain't dead, but he sleep. <laughs> <laughs> understandable. <laughs> <Very honest. clears throat> These are things I was thinking when I was young, as an African American. <laughs> no one like, no, I'm not gonna give him the chance. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? You gonna no? Nah. I'm I'm in the shadows now. <laughs> so. Oh, we about to check out at the Cloud Station. You already know what time it is. It's your boy Thrasher TZ in the Cloud Station. Shout out to Cloud TV. Shout out to Shout Cloud out to TV. everybody. Man. For real, dog. If you ain't rocking with Cloud TV, you ain't rocking with nothing. Not a single thing. Not a single thing, man. So anything else you want to tell the people? Yo, make sure you follow me on IG. At uh, Thrasher TZ underscore. 
you know, tap in with me. That's where I'm mostly active. I got two uh, music visuals on uh, YouTube, on Diamond Dot Media's uh, YouTube page. Shout out to uh, Jordan Gonzalez at Diamond Dot Media. Shout out to Ryan Harris Films. You know what I'm saying? Also with Diamond Dot Media. You know what I mean? Shout out to those boys, man. For real. Um, Just expect a lot of just vibes, man. Like, I'm just going to get back vibes. into my creativity. You know, I'm just going to start creating stuff. Um, I'm going to have to start creating more stuff in between the music. And um, just provide more of a vibe. Just provide more art, you know. Because that's just what it is. Like, I'm an artist, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. So... I just want to show people more art from me, you know, it'll be, I do want to do more collabs too, and um, it could be on anything, you know what I'm saying, not just music, you know what I'm saying, like um, paintings or um, clothes, you know, shoes, you know, skateboards, anything, you know what I'm saying, like, I got some dope ideas, you feel me? We can make a lot of things happen, I can connect a lot of dots, you feel what I'm saying, I got to pretty big matrix that I can tap into, you know what I'm saying, we all can, like, for real, create a lot of uh, good vibes, you know what I'm saying, on the city on, on Smash right now, you know what I'm saying, we turn it up, like, there's a lot of music out here, you feel me, there's a lot of art, a lot of dope spots to um, shop at, you know what I'm saying, eat at, you know, so, let's just put on, for real, for real, before it is, everything, go to shit. Facts. <laughs> yeah. That's the Gemini, Gemini. Follow me on IG as well at the Gemini, the real Gemini actually, um, the real underscore Gemini with a J, not the G, a J, to the cloud, nowhere else, <laughs> up, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Can't four, stop. Two. Now did you... Did you want to spit a little something for him? Or like, was it? How would you feel? Shit, I could. <laughs> so now we about to vibe real quick. Okay. Real smooth, real jiggy, real jazzy. Uh, keep it smooth like jazz I got pizzazz in the swag Whole time I was getting to a bag Never even had to wear a flag Like a strip, I'm a drag For the quarter mile, check my time You already know I'll stay on mine, yeah When it come to the grind Make sure I got an upshift And clutch kick, you know what it is And I can't miss I'm always with the assist I might dish I might come through and have something stinking like it's fish uh, Without the scales You already know niggas need a scale uh, Gotta weigh that right Cause if it weigh right then you pay that right uh, Get it back and pay that twice uh, Get back and come up foe A four way man you already know We need to get them jumps for the low uh, And sell them for the high whole time I was hot and didn't wear a disguise I was in the back the whole time in the back of the back rolling them fat uh. okay that's how I'm feeling that's how you feeling mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's a little that's a little wet Maybe I should go to Cali, a VA to CA. I think it's time for me to take a vacay and see the palm trees, smoke on some good ass weed whole time. While I was skating down the spine, the quarter pipes and all that, the hubbers and the rails. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah, that, that shit was hard. hard. Fuck that second verse. The second verse is weak as a bitch. Weak. It's a freestyle. It's just like a lyrical exercise, bro. It's Definitely. Not really, you know what I'm saying? The second verse was weak. Why would you say it's weak? I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> nah. First verse, I was feeling the second verse. I was like, nah, I'm good. 
Get on that shit. We probably should cut that out. <laughs> <laughs>